Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tyla and I am an artist and welcome to my YouTube channel. That was lame. And today I'm here to film a video that you guys have been harassing. I mean, asking me to make for a while now. <laughs> About a month ago now, I went viral for creating this cool little work of art here on Twitter. I want to be really clear about how I came up with the idea and yeah, I just really want to show the process of me making it. This, what I call a music plaque. I've seen a lot of people do things um, similar since I went viral. I really just wanted to make this video to show the process about how I personally create mine. And there's a lot of people doing things that are similar. But I wanted to show, you know, what kind of makes mine unique and tell the story about me going viral and talk about how that kind of changed my artistic career. <laughs> so um, if you want to know, how I made this keep watching and if, and if you're just interested about what it like if you just want to hear about how I went viral you can fast forward to I'll put this timestamp around here somewhere I just fast forward a little bit and I'll talk about that later in the video okay so boom let's get started with the reason that most of you guys have been watching this video in the first place is how how to make it girl let's talk about how to make it okay so I came up with this idea, I will, let me start out by saying I did not invent the mu music song poster thing. I originally created this as a personal project for myself. Yes, I was inspired by the videos on TikTok, but I changed some things up and made it my own and I think that's what led to why I went viral. Um, I saw this video of somebody taking like the clear frame of the glass, printing their favorite album on it, and then using a Cricut to cut out the letters so it looks like, it looks like your, it looks like your phone, like when you're playing music so it kind of turns like your music into a piece of art and that's what really inspired me about it i wanted to take like my favorite song because i love music most of my art is inspired by music anyway so i thought this would be a really cool way to like physically have something um to take like the music you like and bring it into something physical that's pretty to look at and you can like have it on your wall or whatever. So that's what I was doing originally. I was just kind of recreating the DIY for myself. So I have a lot of frames because I'm an artist. So I took the clear part of a frame, designed everything in Adobe Illustrator and I made it like transparent and I put it into my Cricut. I know there's a way you can like screenshot it and then put that in your Cricut and it'll cut it out directly. But I just didn't like the way it looked. I just rather would take the time and design something on Adobe Illustrator like exactly how I wanted it to look and then upload it and then cut it out that way instead of just using what was exactly on my on my Spotify thing because I wanted it to look a little bit more minimalistic and of course I'm always trying to make things look like my own so that at first the printed out the channel orange album cover on sticker paper and then i uploaded my file that i designed in adobe illustrator into my cricut my cricut cut out the letters because i wanted that to be perfect so i let the cricut cut out the letters perfectly i weeded everything i put it on the glass and the first time i did it with the print album album cover i just like i just didn't like it i think it looks cool I just feel like it could look cooler, you know? Like once I really saw it in person, like I just wasn't feeling it. Like I felt like there's something I could do to make this just a little bit cooler. So I decided to try again. So I went to the hardware store and I got something called plexiglass um, or an acrylic sheet. You can get these at Home Depot. Lowe's. I got mine at Home Depot. Depot was like six dollars, which is a little bit expensive for something like this, but it was worth it to pay the six dollars because I didn't want to do it on actual glass because it was like really heavy and like I just knew I was gonna break it because I was looking for a specific kind of um, plastic. I didn't want to be like thin and flimsy. Like if you look at this one, like it's like it's literally it's thick. It's like it doesn't go 
oh is that it doesn't like wobble like this like it's literally this looks the most like glass and you don't want it to be like flimsy and flint like thin you want it to resemble glass as much as possible so i decided instead of printing out the album cover how about i try to kind of redesign it and paint it onto the glass because i really like the translucent part of this this idea so i wanted to keep that but I wanted to make it just a little bit more modern and make it look a lot more like art, a lot more like modern art rather than like a crafty DIY project. Cause when I'm like the queen of DIYs, I love making things. My favorite thing about making DIYs is making, <laughs> making things myself that don't look like I made it myself, if that makes sense. Like I like things that don't look crafty. That looks like I could have went to some like bougie boutique and bought it. And like I really just had this idea in my head and I was like, let me see if I could just bring it to life. So I went on my iPad and I redesigned the album cover so um, I didn't have to print it out on a sheet of paper. So I wanted to paint on the plexiglass instead of um, printing it printing it out how how the idea popped into my head is that I wanted the channel orange actual album cover part to look hand drawn but I wanted the bottom part with the play button and everything to look printed and perfect so like when you put it together it gave off this like modern aesthetic it's really hard putting this into words because it all happened like up here so fast okay so I bought the plexiglass from Home Depot and then I brought it home and I wanted to look like it was hand drawn so I made like I traced it with my paint pen I traced it with my paint pen and I also added a white border around it with my paint pen and I printed out the name of the song and the play buttons and everything the same exact way I did it the first time cut it out with my vinyl cutter and I took the vinyl which is permanent vinyl by the way so it's never gonna come off I took the vinyl and I added it to the bottom and um, it looked really cool and I was like I you would be even cooler if I added the orange paint behind it once I was ready to paint it I took the plexiglass and I turned it upside down and I just took a big old brush and a big glob of orange paint and I just swiped it on the back I really didn't have any rhyme or reason to it I kept it pretty organic I wasn't trying to stay in lines I went outside of the lines on purpose and it just gave me the exact aesthetic I was looking for and to be honest, like this probably took me, I know it looks really simple, um, but when you actually sit down and do it yourself, it probably took me about two hours to do one, not including the time it took me to mock up everything. So yeah, it was really, honestly, it was just a personal DIY for myself. That was how I made it. So now let me give you the tea on how I went viral. And honestly, I do not know why this particular um, piece of art that I posted went viral. Um, I've been like selling my art for three years now and I've never had anything that I've created pop off the way that this did and I'm super proud of it of course but it's still like as somebody who has like <laughs> as somebody who loves marketing and stuff like that I still don't really understand why this is the thing that went viral. After I was done making my music plaque I was just like showing it off I think I had like I had like maybe a thousand I want to say like 1300 followers on Twitter like not definitely not two I didn't have 2,000 less than 2,000 but more than a thousand and um I decided to post pictures of it on Twitter I'll post the tweet here and it blew up like people with blue check marks were retweeting my tweet people were going crazy saying how much they loved it and how cool it was my phone was like literally blowing up i think when i posted the tweet i was out running errands probably dropping stuff off at the post office or something and when i came back home looking at my phone i was like what <laughs> i didn't really know like what to say or what to do but it was just like all the all the comments that people were posting were positive and people were even asking how they can get one for themselves and here's the deal I have been viral on Twitter before but they were not um, positive experiences <laughs> um, I, I think like when it comes to my art like I've never really gone viral but I say like dumb jokes and stuff on Twitter all the time so like that stuff like that has gone viral before but I've never had a situation where like 
something I created have gone has gone viral like this and so many people are asking like how can I get one how can I get one and obviously I sell my art for a living so I already had an Etsy shop up so I decided to take some time and figure out how I create how I could create a listing for this and have people buy it um, I knew it was something that I wasn't going to be able to price like cheap so that kind of made me nervous like any artist knows that pricing your art is probably like the hardest part but I had like a conversation with my mom like kind of say like how much should I charge how much should I charge for this and we talked about like how much it cost for me to get the materials how much time it took to make like how much time it's gonna take to make several like it was like a lot of going back and forth and we decided on the price I made the listing usually I like take all this time like make taking cute like listing photos and everything but I just used the same photos that I posted on Twitter um, and I made a listing and I put I think I only put like 25 up because it was like a pre-order so I had to um, take orders from people and then make it it's not like something I obviously had in stock so I started with 25 and I was like mm, people probably aren't really gonna buy it like you know they like it but do they like enough like it enough to pay money for it like this is like the moment of truth and so I posted the link for the Etsy listing underneath the tweet and literally by the time I posted the link and then refreshed my page it is sold out and I was like what like I literally was like what is going on like what is going on that is like that is crazy so I was like okay I can take 25 more 50 is a good number I can cap it off at 50 so and this is all just channel orange this is not people trying to buy different albums or different songs or anything it's just channel orange so I posted 25 more for channel orange and that sold out too so I think that sold out it took a little bit longer it took like 10 minutes instead of like three seconds but it sold out too and I was like literally shook like I was so sh like I'm kind of still shook thinking about it because I'm still making them I'm like sh sending them out right now like everything is made by hand it was just really validating to have a moment like that because I had been talking about how I wanted to be able to make a living making art just like making things that make myself happy um sometimes when you're an artist you do things that are called commissions where people will pay you to make something for them but it's not necessarily something that even though you love making art like it's not something that's really fulfilling it will be like something like painting their dog or painting their grandma or painting a picture of them and like yeah i can do it but it's not like it doesn't have it feels like to me stuff like that feels like work and it feels like I'm in school really and it doesn't mean that I do a bad job at it but it's very draining and it takes a lot of time and it's kind of unfulfilling sometimes. <laughs> very, I just knew that that's not how I wanted to make a living. I was just doing it right now so I could be able to pay the bill. So I had something like that pop up where it's generally something that I just made completely for myself. Like I literally was just having a DIY moment, posted it on Twitter without a watermark that still like drives me crazy the one time I don't put a watermark on my picture 8 million people freaking see it that moment was just like really gratifying and I went from let me grab my phone I went from like like I said less than 2,000 followers on Twitter to on at the beginning of the July, July till today August 10th I have 8,515 followers on Twitter like what like that is that really like is crazy to me and like I know it feels kind of like I know it might seem kind of shallow to like focus on the numbers of followers but when you're an artist and you're a whole like the only way that people see your stuff isn't is because of social media especially right now with everything like COVID going on that many people following you and people that are genuinely interested in what you make and what you do that many people like that's how careers get started it, even if it's because they resonate with the piece because they love music and they love channel orange itself or they love another song and they want me to do it for whatever songs they have just it still has the same effect because it's like 
what I love. Since this, since going viral, um, my other stuff in my stop, shop has sold too. So like I have prints of all my other stuff and all that stuff is selling out too. So it's just like a domino effect. And I'm just taking it and I'm just running with it and I'm just seeing where I'm gonna go from here. It's not like I'm gonna be making these forever but it's definitely like a good jumping off point like since this music plaque I've also turned it into keychains turned it into stickers I've given people the option to um, have me create their own custom one with their own custom song all hand painted and hand designed because um, I didn't want to just take a picture of the album cover and print it off and stick it on a piece of glass like I wanted to make it a little bit more artistic because obviously take a shot every time I say I'm an artist but I just want to make it a little bit more me put my little spin on it and I really honestly now that I think about it I feel like that's the reason why it went viral because it wasn't just me blatant blatantly copying somebody's idea it was me taking the inspiration from the idea and spinning it and make it making it my own I don't know I'm just taking this opportunity and I'm just I'm just going man I'm just gonna keep going i think that's all i have to say on the topic I keep making things that make me happy and putting it out there and i'm just really glad that people are resonating with it enough to buy it to what like that still like blows my mind so i just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me so far it is wild i'm like a i'm like an artist for real now like I mean, I've always been an artist, but like, y'all just finding out about it. <laughs> if you want to keep up with me, um, you can follow. Um, I have two Instagrams, one that's strictly for my shop, so that just gives you straight up updates about sales when things are restocking, product photos, boom. And I have my personal Instagram at tyla.b.creative. It is me personally that's where i be having fun at you know i just be real chill over there um you can also follow me on twitter at tyler the creative um and that's where i am on the internet oh and this youtube video this youtube channel like if you want to hang out here i definitely think i'm going to be posting more on here every time i make a video i'm like i'm gonna start posting more on here guys and then i don't but like no for real like this time I'm really i'm really gonna start posting more so like and subscribe if you like it this has been really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get back to work because I have some orders to fulfill. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay creative, live your life. I don't know, Ooh, that was kind of rude. I'm gonna have to come up with a like outro tagline or something cause I don't have one right now. But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll peace out. <laughs>